What's going on YouTube? It's your girl Pop Goddess Kiara back at it again with another video for you guys. And today we're going to be doing something a little different. It's not going to be a pop related video. It is actually going to be a TMNT figure box opening that a friend of mine bought for me. So stay tuned. All right, so like I said in the intro, today is not going to be about a Funko Pop at all. It is actually going to be about this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle set that a friend of mine bought for me bought for me about a little while ago. I just haven't been able to get around to actually opening it to do a video on it. Now, it is the Classic Turtle Figure 4 Pack Series 2. It says this is a set. Do not open. But, you know, we're going to open it. So. What can I say? I'm just going to do a nice little slicey dice here. See if that's enough of why I just got to go all the way. No, no, no. All right. Now, we are, I know I said I have to open it, but I'm still going to do it anyway. But it's supposed to have Mikey, Leo, Ralph, and Donnie. So, <sighs> I'm not going to lie. I'm excited. I'm very excited for this because he got one for himself as well. And he was a little disappointed that I hadn't opened it yet, but I told him that I was going to make a video first. And then once I open it and everything like that, I would let him know just to let him know how I like it. But knowing me and how I am about turtles, I'm absolutely going to love this. I already know before I even look at any of these figures that I'm going to love it. So First one we're going to pull out, I have no idea which order it's in, so we're just going to go with it. The first one that I have is going to be, is it? It is. It's Mikey right there. Movie star, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mikey. Now, obviously, I'm not going to be taking these out of their packaging. Like, I, the box, yes, but the actual packaging, no. I'm just going to find a place to hang it up in my office. I just hung up my uh, move my Marvel comic book cover ones, so now I got to figure out where I'm going to put these at. I I just don't know. But the first one I do have is going to be Mikey here. Now, I do remember this movie specifically. It's, uh, it's the very, very first movie. And dear God, I do not know. How many times I watched that and The Secret of Ooze growing up. Like, I think that and the first three Batmans, I watched about once to twice, two times a week, religiously. Like, it, it was my thing. Those were the movies I was obsessed with for a very, very long time. But anyway, with that being said, we're going to put Mikey off to the side right there. Please, please don't fall. Okay, we're just going to have you sit with the Batmobiles. That's fine. All right. So the next one we're going to pull out. Oh, okay. I guess I got to use the ones on the bottom. Awesome. So we are now going to have Raph right there. Good old Raphael. He's the rude but crude. You got to love him. I think him. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Him and Mikey are honestly my two top favorites. And then I do like Donnie as a third. And yes, Leo is put in the fourth. Just because I understand he's the oldest, he's the leader, but he gets annoying quite quickly if I if I do say so myself. But no, I do love Mikey and Raph. Actually, they're my two favorites. Then comes Donnie, then Leo. But now we have Raph to add to it as well. I'm just going to put it off right there because I feel like if I put him on top of Mikey, he's just going to fall down and that's just going to cause damage to the boxes. And that is not something that I want. Do I? Am I ever going to sell them? No, of course not. But I still don't want any damage to happen to any of these by any means necessary. So the next one we're going to pull is, wait, I want to see something real quick. No, okay, I was about to say anything like, there's the back different colors for the specific turtles, but it is not. So we have here Donnie. I'm pulling them out in the order of which I like these turtles, which I find freaking hilarious. But there we go. We have Donnie right there. Oh, my gosh. 
I absolutely love this. Now, the crazy thing is this, is that me growing up in the 90s and being obsessed with these as I was, as a child, you never really think about the value that can come from the toys that you had. And I had all the original ones where the shell opens, you can put the, the weapon and everything in there. Then you had the whole set where you can like, like the, well, like the minis where you can have, it's like a Polly Pocket, but turtle version, you open up the shell. Then you have like all the different figures and everything in there. Those are long gone by all means. Like they're, 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 they've been long gone for, shit, I don't even know. But looking back on it, if I would have just kept those, if I would have thought about monetary value instead of just enjoying my childhood, they could be worth so, so much right now. And even if they were, I still wouldn't have sold them. I would just kept in my personal collection, to be completely honest. So obviously, with those three being pulled, the last one that we do have is going to be the one and only leader, Leo, right here. And unfortunately, let me see something real quick. I am curious about something. Okay. They do. They all have the exact same weapons right there. Like, they're all the exact same in the uh, in the box. I was kind of hoping that'd be, like, different ones, but it is what it is. I'm not mad about it. But, yeah, there we go. We got Leo. Honestly, I'm not going to lie with the paint job on them and how their how their teeth are in the eyes they do look kind of freaky like looks a little weird could be a little creepy but that's okay i never really thought about it like that but yeah they are a little little weird looking with the paint job but regardless it is an awesome awesome set i am so happy to have them i am so happy that my uh my friend he actually got them for me me and him, we actually used to work together, and then I ended up getting a different job, but me and him stayed really close, and we constantly give things back and forth to each other, like, I actually got to figure out what I'm going to get him, because he's a massive, massive Ghostbusters and G.I. Joe fan, but he has pretty much everything that can you can possibly have for those two, those two series or franchise, however you want to put it, so now I got to figure out what I'm going to do for that, but yes. Like I said, I'm super stoked to have those in my collection. I have got to figure out where the heck I'm going to put them at now because if you guys can kind of see right now, my walls are kind of full. I have a few spaces here and there. I've already started rearranging the office. So I'm probably going to end up rearranging some stuff some more just so I can get everything fit to the way that I want it. But that is all that I have for you guys tonight. Today, tonight, however you want to look at it. For me, it's tonight. It could be it's going to be today for you guys when this is actually posted. But anyway, with all that being said, let me know in the comment section below if you also collect action figures or any type of figures that may be. And how do you feel about the turtles? Is it something that you really like? Something you can do without? Whatever the case may be, I would love to know in the comment section. But without further ado, that's all I have for you guys. And as always, I hope you have a wonderful day. See you in the next video. Peace.